What's up guys? I haven't had a how-to or a build video in a while because I only like to do them on stuff that interests me. So I think this time we're going to do something a little different. It's going to be long range. So you have to do the ESPA setup, the AETR setup for x light because that's what I'm going to run. Let's start working on this. So I am 100% sure that it said that this guy can run S plus. So I'm imagining that it's gonna run off your throttle signal. But who knows? <coughs> All right, we're about to get into the fun stuff, which I have not seen a video on this. That's a 90% of why I wanted to do this video. I have not seen a video that is easy to find on YouTube. If you have one, post the link in the comments. But this is gonna be one for that. So, since we're doing the Mini Recruit as a LR wing with a one watt ETX, run cam split, R9, all that stuff, we're gonna use, I can grab the little guy, the R9MM with the Immortal T style antenna. Very good investment with this little antenna. So, there isn't many videos showing how to set up the S bus on a recruit. All you're really gonna do if you're gonna use one of these is I had an old, I've been building planes forever, so I have bunches of stuff, but I had an old extension cable and the female end. So all we'll do is we'll run our positive or negative and our S bus signal. And then you plug it directly into this guy. Boom. Then I'll show you in a little bit how to set up the FR Sky controller to AETR, which we're not using rudder, so it doesn't really matter. It's basically AET. Then channel five will be your mode switch. So that'd be a very easy setup, but that is a huge thing to know. So your S bus just goes to your first wire. The little FC is gonna do all the rest of the work. Okay, <clears throat> so now we have our little pigtail with a servo connector, female servo connector, hooked to our R9M. So that's all soldered up and ready. So I routed the R9. I don't know if, how I can get to where you can see it. There's the R9. Our antenna is going to come through up our slot into right here. I think that'll be a prime spot for a decent. If I need to move it later for getting to deeper range, I can. But I think that's perfect for right now. It'll be a good test location. I have the R9 bound up right now. You can see. Looks like we already need to reverse our elevator channel. That should be done, that should be up. Our left and our right seem good. Okay, now this is the real important part. This is a, a big thing I wanted to see. So, how to get the S bus to work, you connect it to the one cable. You can't see my screen right now. We'll have to let it down. Okay. So you let, you go to your input screen and you set your first one. 100%, 100%. Channel five, this really doesn't matter. You just leave them throttle, aileron, elevator. I deleted channel four, no big deal. Channel five, set as your three position switch. Then on your mixer screen, set channel one to aileron. Channel two to elevator, which inside of there, I needed to go in and invert it to reverse the direction, which is working perfect now. Channel three, throttle. Channel five, your three position switch. Now your switch is at work and you're running S bus with the R9 on the re mini recruit, which is pretty good. So S bus, R9, mini recruit. Seems like it's gonna be a great time. And there she is, a run cam split, long range R9 mini recruit. Looks pretty good, feels pretty solid. If you like this video and learning about things and learning about building, like and subscribe. Check out my 2018 year in review. 
always, for your South Texas and worldwide hobby needs, hit up Cyclone FPV. Great people, great products. The ready-made RC Recruit, top-notch. Any questions or something, comment, hit me up. If I can help, I will try. Thank you. Have a great night.